fair use, fair use, fair use. I mean, think about we're going to have this digital bill of rights by whatever happened to for the people, by the people, of the people. I mean, that's totally out. But but listen to this carefully and, and kind of catch what the intent is and how intrusive it is. Let's listen to this. And COVID is critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. If we want to stop this epidemic, we need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under their skin. What we've seen so far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. We now see mass surveillance systems established even in democratic countries, which previously rejected them. And we also see a change in the nature of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Now it's going under the skin. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what is happening under our skin. What's our body temperature? What's our blood pressure? What, what is our medical condition? Now humans are developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. I mean, <clears throat> this is uh, Psalms 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstones. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. And I just want to go into this lesson. As you can see, um, the intent of the, uh, the, 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 the uh, of the devil, man, him boasting himself above the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, him uh, uh, boasting himself uh, above um, the, the heavens, creation itself. Okay, but. Um, you know, this is um, this this devil speaking as a dragon, man, because now he's, uh, you know, he's getting ready to implement this uh, global um, tyranny system. OK, financially, it's a Ponzi scheme. Well, even the Federal Reserve is a Ponzi scheme, but this is even beyond that. OK. At least with the Federal Reserve, you had a piece of, you had something that was actually physically tangible. Here, you're going to be the product. See, that's what the thing is. It was somebody who said, I believe it was the financial analyst, that basically said that um, when goods are free, then you are the product, right? That's why the scripture says, uh, let me just get it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. This is um. This is Second Ezra sixteen twenty one. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Okay. All right. So yeah, man. And when um, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, this particular final fi- financial analyst, he basically said, when goods and services are free, that means that you are the product. Okay. All right. And now you have a situation where, um, I believe in D.C. There's a uh, their their Whole Foods uh, <clears throat> requires you to have a UPC code to enter. You know, they have a, a some kind of digital gate blocking it to where you got to get let through. And you have to have a particularly, uh, you have a particular code, which proves what? That you are a product, man. All right. And that's what this devil wants to do, man. He wants to make you a, <clears throat> a commodity, which r- really you already are through your uh, social security uh, number and your uh, uh, birth certificate, okay? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we're not to fret ourselves because of these plans, man. You know, I want to touch on that point, man. So I'm going to go back to that. After, I just want to read this first. This is Habakkuk 1 and 13. Thou art of pure eyes and to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously, and holdest thy tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he. And this is his ultimate attempt to devour the whole world, right? And make us, and this is the MOTB system, man. All right, which is going to be global. A, and maketh men as fishes of the sea, as the creeping things that that have no ruler over them. They take up all of them with the angle. They catch them in their net and gather them in their drag. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. Okay. And um, I remember this show. Um, matter of fact, let me, let me pull that up real quick. <clears throat> let me pull that up. Uh, the show called Dragnet, man. Uh, all right. Um. Yeah. Uh. Let me get some on it. Mm, trying to get more on it. It says, uh, just the facts, man, ma'am, right, <laughs> right, and I, I believe I, uh, Apostle Gabar, uh, he, he quotes that part, just the facts, ma'am, and that's what they say, uh, I guess they, yeah, they came from that uh, show Dragnet, <laughs> you know, but yeah, <laughs> And this this is a show was about two cops. What were they doing? Arresting people. <laughs> they were trapping people, man. You know. And that's what he plans to do with this whole global system that he's uh that he's implementing, man. Okay, he's about to swallow he's about to he's about to catch the whole earth up. He's his plans are at least to catch the whole earth earth up into his net, man. Hey, just like a man who uh who's fishing, right? Uh, well, I'm going to go back to 14. This Habakkuk 1 and 14. And make us men as fishes of the sea and as the creeping things that have no ruler over them. They take up all of them with the angle. Right? They taketh up all with the angle. They catch them in their net and gather them in their drag. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> so this is literally going to be, well, it is a prison planet, man. You know, you heard this guy, um, a flaming fun boy in a Ferrari. <laughs> Yuval Noah, right? Okay. Um, basically saying about how 
they're gonna ramp up the surveillance the surveillance worldwide, man. You know. You know, if you go to the UK, they have like one of the most surveilled states, man. Uh, China probably even worse, man. And uh, China is pretty much a template for what they're gonna do here in America. Okay, you, you saw that with the uh, the Rona nineteen situation, man. You know, it started off in China. We all thought, well, uh, well, people thought because us and it's true. We we knew what was up. But uh, people probably thought, like, oh, that's happening in China. Well, two months later, it was all implemented here in America. Okay, and for you to, people that don't know, man, China actually owns a good portion of America. All right? <clears throat> you know, shows you that this is the whore, man. A whore is just a, a bitch that's going to sell to the highest bidder, man. All right? Uh, but it says, uh, therefore, therefore they sacrifice unto their net and burn incense unto their drag because by them their portion is fat and their meat plenteous. Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to slay the nations? Right, so <clears throat> their net is their God, man, because that's how they eat. That's how they devour. All right, and this is going to be a idol that they're erecting, man. That the whole earth is going to be ordered to bow down to, man. Okay. All right. And um, it's also what 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 the apostles would, on down would call a digital awe, man. Um, let me get a scripture on that so uh, you get a better um, understanding of what I mean by that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> this is Exodus 21 and 1. Now these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy a he an Hebrew servant six years, he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master gave him a wife, and she hath both have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring unto the judges, bring unto the judges, she shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. Okay? So, yeah. And that all, you know, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> You know, that's, you know, that's a marking, you know, uh, as I'm reading that, uh, that lets you know that, uh, this is my master, man. This is, this is, this is who I, who rules over me. This is my Lord. Okay. All right. So this MOTB that they're planning on implementing is pretty much a digital form of that. All right. That's why it is known as the MOTB, all right, because who is the beast, all right, that's these conglomerations of these nations uh, uh, that make up the NATO, the EU, all right, uh, the Neo-Roman Empire, basically, and in the ancient Rome, let me get some history on that, ancient Okay. Um let me see what this says about it. Mm. Um 
Okay, I get that. I just want to get on the branding part of it. I'll just read this one. It says, those who lived were branded in the forehead with a letter F-U-G for fugitivas. Sometimes slaves had a medical collar revetted around the neck. One such collar is preserved at a Rome and states in Latin, I have run away. Um, right. In ancient Rome, slaves were branded. In ancient Rome, slaves were branded and branded. What happened with the brand mark if they were subsequently liberated? Right. So, yeah, this goes to show you that. How could you tell a slave from a free man in ancient Rome? Was there a defining brand mark? Could escaped slave easily blend into urban populations? According to Seneca, a proposal was once made in the Senate that slaves should be made to wear distinctive clothes. The proposal was dropped, however, when it was realized that it would allow slaves to realize their numbers and plot rebellion. Whatever the truth of this story, there was never any established slave costume and robe. Right. In ancient Rome... Right. Did men, did Roman men have children with this? Of course they did. They, they do that now. <laughs> but yeah, so you pretty much get it, man. And um, there's a particular show that I remember watching called uh, Spartacus. And um, basically, Spartacus was from the house of. Betty Artis, something like that. Betty Artis, I believe. And uh, that s symbol was basically imprinted on him. Okay. To, uh, uh, um, to show that um, that you were of that house, particularly. You were owned by that particular house. Okay, and that's the same thing that he's doing now, what well, he's planning on doing now. But a point I want to get into, you know, because we talk about this a lot, you know, I kind of want to switch gears a little bit, um, is because we're not to fear this man. You know, just like the scripture I read in the beginning, fret not thyself, man, uh, because of this guy, man. All right, because this is not the plan of the uh of the elect man the elect were not um slated to um matter of fact let me just grab this <clears throat> okay all right <clears throat> Uh, this is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pit ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man whom is the mark, and begin in my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the, the house. All right, and these were talking about the angels, okay, that were doing the slaying, basically. And that mark is the Hebrew word, the wa, which means exempt from judgment, okay? So the elect are already marked. They're not going to receive a physical M-A-R-K. Okay. All right. The elect are already... Um, um, let me just get it. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> 
This is Ephesians 1 and um, uh, I'll start at 11. Ephesians 1 and 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him whom worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Right? Predestined already. Uh, the people that are are, are, are going to receive salvation were already elected for it. It's not a prize that we just won, okay, somehow, right? That we uh, that we should be to be to the praise of his glory. You know, Lord willing, we be of that number. That we should be to the praise of his glory for who first trusted in Hamashiach in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Right. As the scripture says, you are, you are not your own, you were bought with a price. That being the uh, the blood of Yahweh Shai of Mashiach. All right. <clears throat> The word demanded that we can be called Jesus Christ, which only died for the for the uh, uh, for, for the nation of Israel, mainly the elect. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Starting with the elect. Okay. So, you know, I want to you know just go into the to the fact that look, you know, knowing that, you know, look, our fear is to uh, matter of fact, let me get it. This is uh, Isaiah 8 and 13. Sanctify Yahweh, power of hosts, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. Right? Let Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, be your fear and your dread, man. All right? Because this guy is just a tool, man. All right? Thanks. This guy is just a tool, man. And he is going to use this. Yahweh Bashim Yahashah is going to use this tool to chop down a great majority of his people that are wicked. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is Isaiah 10 and 13. For he said, by my strength, by the strength of my hand, I have done it. And that's what this devil is doing right now. He's boasting. Um, he's boasting that he has some kind of power in his wisdom. Uh, there's another scripture that says, by my hand, I have robbed their treasures for I am prudent. I'm just a prudent, wise motherfucker, you know, <laughs> excuse my French. <laughs> All right. It says, and by wisdom for I am prudent and I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. Right, this is what I'm reading, yep. Yeah, <laughs> yep. And that's exactly what he's saying. <laughs> and my hand have found a nest, it's like, and my hand have found as a nest the richest, and this, all, this scripture always reminds me of um, the Alexandrian um, library, okay, because when you had the Greeks uh, conquering people, okay, well, the, the, the Edomites who called themselves Greeks, Macedonians, right? Um, they basically kept a lot of their artifacts and histories and stuff like that in um, what was called the Alexandria Library, okay? It was like a cache of wealth of knowledge and artifacts from all around the world right and my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the people and as one gathereth eggs that are left have i gathered all the earth i believe what will it be the equivalent of that now would be the library of congress um yeah i believe that would be but uh 
Yeah, you know, and then or, or um, the Vatican. You know, they they keep a lot of stuff at the Vatican, I believe. You know, that's why they is is highly um, guarded. You know, um, uh, place. You know, and there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped. Okay, All right. And, and that reminds me of uh, when Alexander took down everybody. It says, it says the whole earth was quiet before him, right? Shall the axe boast itself against him that heweth their wit? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? Right, so you're just a tool, man. All right, you don't fear the axe. You fear the wielder of the axe. And the axe, uh, that's, that's the one who's wielding it is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's why Yahweh Shah told uh, Pontius Pilate, man, it, you know, if it wasn't for my father, you couldn't do anything to me, man. You know, you're only doing what you're allowed to do, all right? As if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. Therefore shall Yahweh, power of hosts, send among, right, that was it. You know, that's the point, you know, so we're not to fret ourselves um, about these when we hear stuff like that. All right. Right, this is Isaiah 51 and 12. I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? And forgettest Yahweh thy maker, that have stretched forth the heavens, and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor as if he were ready to destroy and where is the fury of the oppressor right so <laughs> you know where is the fury of the oppressor man you know we, we, we're not to fear um the wicked man that you know his threatenings man you know we're not to, we're not to uh, uh, fear his threatenings man you know we're 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 to fear the threatenings of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Scripture which it says Yahweh shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder man all right and that's pretty much what he's going to do with this guy man all right Esau eat him as a whole especially this a uh, uh, rat, you know. This this guy looks like a, a baby bird that just like fell out the nest, man. <laughs> you know, he's, this guy is a weakling, man, and he he's, he's just boasting himself against the Most High, man. You know, and, and his arm, your arms is too sh too short to box, man. You know, you're trying to be the Most High, man, but you can't even c cure baldness, okay. <laughs> All right, this guy is a frail, uh, uh, insignificant cre uh, cre cretent. I was going to say creation, and you're a cretent. Okay, man. A uh, baby mouse, man. You know, uh, uh, talking big shit against the most high, man. And the Lord's going to, uh, and I hope, I hope this guy, I really believe guys like him are going to make it out of here. You know. You know, guys like like him. You know, he's a low low level luminary. You know, they'll bring him along for the ride. I, I believe. You know, he's supposedly Carl Sw Klaus Schwab's right hand um, butt buddy. Okay, <clears throat> so I can see him make it in, into a, a bunker. You know, and I hope he does, man. You know. You know, and I'm hope I'm part of the cleanup crew to see the look on these guys' face, man. When the Lord, when they, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> you know, when you got a bunch of gods standing before you, man, 
starting with your was shy, man, and you got to explain all that shit, man, that you was talking, man, you know, <coughs> you know, I'll get another scripture, man, <laughs> if I can, <laughs> yeah, man, talking all that jazz, yep, this is, um, Shall you say before him that slayeth thee, thou art a God? <laughs> Ezekiel 35 and 13. Thus with your mouth have you boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, Lord, the Lord heard you, man. What the scripture says, he's long suffer, suffering and he endureth with, uh, he endureth with, uh, he endureth with long suffering the vessels of wrath that are fitted for destruction. Okay. So, yeah, man. And and this devil knows he's uh he's hated by the most high man. And, you know, <clears throat> he knows that. You just look at this guy's demeanor, man. Like he's just a ugh. Like I I, I really can't wait to the end of that thousand years, man. You know. Or well, we could just, uh, you know, have that bonfire, man. You know, my uncle used to say, uh, "Burn them, burn it, burn them like a rat." You know. So yeah, <clears throat> we're not to fear these, uh, these cretins, man. We're to fear Yahweh Shemayasha. So, so that's pretty much it, man. Um, Shalom.